From the heart of the planet's greatest rainforest emerges one of the world's biggest civil engineering projects, a monolithic monument to progress. The Belamonte Dam is Brazil's answer to its growing energy needs. Mired in controversy and allegations of corruption, the $18 billion dam partially blocks the Xingu, a major Amazon tributary, and has flooded thousands of acres of rainforest. There's a human cost too. The local fishing industry has been decimated, and thousands of riverside dwellers, or ribeirinhos, have lost their land and their livelihoods, forced into a completely alien urban environment. Yes, we don't have water. We get angry, says Gilmar, showing us his now worthless fishing license. We see these corporations making millions from what used to be ours, he says, and we can't even use the river anymore. Building the dam brought hundreds of jobs to the riverside town of Altamira. But it also led to increasing deforestation and the permanent loss of many low-lying islands. Supporters of hydropower admit mistakes were made, but say the rivers and their energy are there to be harnessed for the greater good of Brazil. I would definitely defend the presence of hydro as one key technology in our portfolio of technologies. In the developed part of the world, almost 70% of the hydro potential... ...any attempts to build dams on the river. The government always comes the government always comes here with its lies. There's not one place where a dam has been built that has turned out good for locals and for our tribes. There's only misery and complaints. These tattooed warriors of the Amazon are taking on powerful business and political interests that want to weaken environmental legislation and fast-track the construction of hydroelectric dams. Clean energy and the promise of jobs versus the rights of indigenous tribes, and whether to exploit or to protect this fragile ecosystem.